What's up guys? Welcome to the ninth and final part for the moment for the beginner series. So yeah, we have another 25 gems lock-in bonus here, which is very nice. And yeah, for what we're gonna do today. Um, first of all, I farmed the rookie missions, so yeah. You don't have to watch all of this i just did another clash and then i did the straw hat island like you've seen before 20 times for the copies and yeah now as you can see here and i got the reward of the 50 gems and yeah let me show you my crew here so this is my new team now it's all of these free to play straw heads. I leveled them up, they all have special level. And yeah, um, this is the team I'm going to use from now on if I want to farm content. And yeah, they're all done. Pretty good. So, for the next part, I think you may have noticed that the ship that we have doesn't do anything. And you should really try to get a better ship as soon as possible. And so I also did, let me show you this, how to get there. Okay, so if you click on the navigation down here, you see the different areas you can go. Make sure to clear Syrup Village first, because when you clear Syrup Village, you will get the Going Merry ship, as you can see on the top right, as a reward. This is a really good ship and you need to pick it up. So I did this so you don't have to watch me clearing 12 stages of the, of the uh, story island. It's not challenging whatsoever. I just left the last stage here so that you could see the acquiring of the ship. And yeah, let's do that really quick. And yeah, for the account here, we are not gonna play every day now. So yeah, I'm gonna log in, I'm gonna do the dailies and stuff and I will still play on this account, do the pirate rumble dailies and other stuff. But I'm not gonna show you all of this. So yeah, I showed you the basics and I think it's time that if you haven't played the game yet and you're interested in the game now, you go on your own adventure as well. And I would still post videos when I have collected more gems and when there's an event that I want to play and if I want to show you some pulls, if we get tickets and so on, yeah, I will still upload this and show it to you and yeah. And the goal for this account and for your account should be, now that you've started this, save up your gems for the next big banner. And yeah, you can see the banners in the tavern and essentially a big banner is something like an anniversary or a, a new year's banner or something like that it will always come with a big campaign so you won't be missing that you will know if that's a big banner and yeah the bigger banners have super good steps where you can pull and that's where you should spend all your gems don't waste your gems so that's the goal of this account now to save up for the next big banner to pull for and yeah we cleared the final stage here we get another rainbow gem and now yeah we get as well new friend slots clear a few dailies here and now we should good should get the new ship And we also get this Usopp character, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there he is. He's also a pretty good unit if you evolve him to Golden Pound Usopp, so make sure to favorite him up. We get the Merry Go. And also these challenges unlock. And now it will automatically take you to the uh, Shipyard tab. Now you can see there's your new ship, the Merry Go. And what makes this ship so good is that this ship has an ability that gives your crew a 1.5 times attack boost. So 
the moment you max out the ship and you use it, you will have a much easier time clearing crest just because you are doing 1.5 times more damage. And now the game tells you to upgrade your ship. To upgrade your ships, there are more ships in the game and when you get them you need cola to uh, upgrade them, but you will have an almost infinite amount of colas in this game because you get them from many quests so don't worry about it and for now upgrade upgrade the going merry until it is max level because on max level it gets all the abilities and it also has uh, the trait that it will be easier for you to hit perfect so that is also really good and essentially that's also a damage boost because let's be real if you're not using the going merry you're not gonna hit all perfects all the time only if you are god in this game but i know no one who just hits perfects all the time it's not that easy because different characters have different attack animations and they have a different time span between the attacks so if you frequently use a team you get used to their tap timing and then it's getting easier to hit the perfects but if you switch around with teams all the time there's no guarantee that you know how the tap timing is all the time okay we're quite lucky here it hasn't failed a single time this can fail so then the cola is wasted don't worry that the ship will be destroyed or something that doesn't happen it just it just can fail so that the cola is wasted and yeah the higher the level of the upgrading the ship is the higher the probability of it failing so it could probably fail sometimes from now on i think also when you unlock the going merry uh, it's not like with the other ships where you have to pick it for every team the going merry is automatically your ship now so that means that it will get put in every team that you build automatically without you having to change it just because it's just on paper better than the dingy right if you remember from the anime the dingy was just a ship that <laughs> ship if you would call that that luffy had in the beginning where he traveled with Zoro to to uh, i don't know what the island was called but it was the little boat that they used essentially so yeah look the going merry is maxed out boost captain's hp by 300 boost cruise attack 1.5 and makes it easier to land perfect strikes nice and now if you click on edit crew it should be automatically in the team yeah it is merry go and see if i switch to other teams the merry go is also automatically set as the ship good that of the agenda now i see we have some mail so let's check out this mail as well see what we have there mm, okay there's more gems from the rookie support what is this okay rainbow evolver said yeah now we have two more tickets here and maybe we can pick up some good units Okay, that carrot is good it's a good unit and we don't have her so that's perfect and yeah maybe we can pick up another great unit here yeah nice I think is this the Psy Jinbei yeah nice this Jinbei has an amazing support ability which is <laughs> used in almost every team so uh, yeah he's really good good to have him okay so i didn't even explain about support abilities right let's do this really quick you see here this plus sign next to the characters if you press that you can choose a character that has support ability to support this character and so yeah we have this carrot that we farmed here and if you press on her 3% of her base attack and HP will be given to the supported character. So in her case, 3% of the 880 80k, which is like 50 or something, 
80k no more than more like more like 40 40 80k and that will put on top of luffy's 80k so i could set supports for all of the team but i can't do that right now because i don't have enough characters yet that have a support ability so when time goes on you will have enough characters to always have a support character but for now this shall be enough and yeah that's fine okay one more thing let's go back into the tavern because that is the next thing on the agenda that i wanted to do today mm. this is the beginners sugo fest and we will do the last multi here because we are guaranteed a limited cool sugo fest exclusive and yeah let's see what we can get here and then we are done with these banners we are not pulling on the pvp banner we are not pulling on this banner we save our gems i will farm a bit of the story and then we will go in hard on a really really great banner and yeah that i will upload as well i will upload all the pulls this account does all the special events this account does and if there's a treasure map i will also upload a video for that because i couldn't show you that in detail now because we just didn't have a treasure map right now but yeah for now this will be it so after this video like i said i will do dailies i will farm up my my account but i'm not gonna post every video of that because it will most likely be just me be me doing pirate rumble doing dailies and obviously pirate rumble with a horrible team always losing so yeah i don't think that's very entertaining to watch and i don't think that's that's getting you anywhere any that soon so yeah okay let's do this matter pull here okay we have no animator oh, we have the train train and dugong and maybe three cuttings i mean it doesn't matter again because we're guaranteed a legend on the last poster but it would be great if we could get one on the way yeah nice we get one so we get two legends out of this multi that sanji is really good he removes poison completely so yeah characters that do that are really rare we have that chopper we don't have that chopper but that chopper is old and bad such a sausage finger again didn't allow me to favorite him up marjorite okay she's not that good bins he's horrible mm. kaku is the old kaku right yeah he's also not good Shiryu is a decent unit. He has a special that has a chance of defeating an enemy at a fixed rate. So for that, pretty early in the game, when there weren't that many strong teams, he was frequently used for people who couldn't beat a content and they just try to cheese with him. But nowadays for the newer content, Bandai banned him from being used and other characters that have this kind of special just because it's stupid, right? they build a content which is very hard to beat and you just use this character defeat it with one click they didn't want that i can understand that they shouldn't have released such a unit in the first place it's really stupid and yeah we favorite him up we don't have him but yeah he's not great anymore whatsoever nazuma is old and the funk brothers who are also really bad so yeah from the rare recruits this multi was horrible but Let's see what the legend is. Okay, that is the old white beard. He's good for PvP though, so I will take him. And these old characters are quite hard to get nowadays, so yeah. That's fine. And now for the limited pools, super fast exclusive. Oh, what is this? Huh. Okay. That is a good unit. It's not an insanely good unit, but she's frequently used and she's a really good int character. So yeah, I will take her as well. She's horrible for Pirate Rumble though, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Not every unit has to be good for PvE and PvP. Okay. 
Okay, and just one more thing. I didn't really want to go into that in this video, but I see it right now. We have an exclamation mark in the top bottom left. And that just tells you that here in Kizuna something happened. And I played a Kizuna and I didn't clear it. And I sent a friend request so that my friend will clear it. And I don't have that many friends. So I thought, yeah, this is not going to happen. But it did happen. So someone cleared our assist, which is super nice. Okay. I will skip here. And we have 21 tickets. I will show you these 21 tickets here from the Kizuna store as well. Okay, there's a rainbow gem still in it and the new unit. So we are going on pulling in this box. Okay, some lobster, some cola, berries. So for a new account, all of which what is in the boxes is really good. So yeah. For, for older accounts that have farmed many things, it doesn't matter so much. There's the rainbow gem. Now let's check here. There's, uh, is this the unit? Yeah, okay. Still once in this box, so we'll stay in this box. But yeah, we only have one ticket left and I'm not going to pull that single ticket. Okay, this was the Kizuna. So... Now, I also wanted to show you something else. If you, by any chance, lose your phone or the app doesn't work anymore and you have to re reinstall it, you need a way to save your account so that you don't have to start new every time. So it's really important that you save your account. So you do that by going to change device here on the menu and then you can click about changing devices, backup data, there everything is explained. And then the best you can do is change device with SNES. And then you go to backup data with SNES. And then you can choose to backup your data with Twitter or Facebook. And this will take you to your Twitter or Facebook page. You will just log in. And then your account is connected to the One Piece Treasure Cruise account. And in the case that you lose the account or lose your phone, you can always, when you start the app, choose to restore your data with using one of these methods. And then you have your account back. So this is really important. Do that. It saves you a lot of time and you will be mad if you lose your account and haven't saved it. So this is really, really important. Okay. I think that's about it. If I look at this account now, we have destroyed characters, we cleared all the rookie missions, we have played a bit of Pirate Rumble, we have played a bit of the Kizuna Clash, and we cleared the story for a certain part, so we got some gems and the ship, and now our account is set to go on in the future. And your goal should be, like I said, save up the gems, farm what you can farm, you don't need to focus on these recruitment quests here at the moment or on the Evolver and Berries. You don't need to do that. Uh, what you should do is um, look for clashes that you can defeat actually, which will also be hard at the beginning, so don't worry about it. I think the, the best thing for you to do is really farm the events that are on hand because they are most likely killable stages even for you because they make them in a difficulty that even beginners can clear it and yeah don't worry about these clashes for now because you can see a difficulty here if you click on them and this is difficulty 3 and this is 5 with the team that we built here we can clear difficulty 3 but i think everything up from difficulty 5 to 6 is already really really hard so yeah don't worry about that and yeah that's about it guys. I will be back with more videos if something happens, if there's pulls, if there's a new banner, if there's content I want to show you. But for now, I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, enjoy your stay in One Piece Treasure Cruise and have a great day.